Welcome back. So I'm gonna want to review a few of the kind of non-slabbed, somewhat normal size cards I have managed to pick up lately. So not a whole lot here. Most of what I've been picking up lately is slabs. Um, <clears throat> but wanted to go over a few of the loose cards, if you will. So we'll start with this stack. So you have a Jacob de Gram. I have 19 Prism. This is the one per case insert. I forget what they're called. Um, out of that same product, there's a numbered Bregman. Um, obviously, paid six bucks a piece for these. Um, these loose cards were thrown in with this card, um, which there's nothing much in there. There's a couple of Chris Bryant's, but nothing really of note. Um, so, this is out of this year's. Um, Stadium Club, Sandy Kovax, the Chrome version. And then there's a couple of Triple Threads Kovax cards from this year. A gold label Kovax framed. This is from a few years ago, because they don't frame these numbered ones anymore. But didn't have one. There's a line in the middle of it. Um, so we got a little discount on it. Um, but for it was a nice ad. Then we have a few mem cards. <clears throat> so first is a Hank Greenberg back card. So always have back cards. Never found a jersey card of his ever. There's a Pujols jersey card. There's a Reggie Jackson. Nice pinstripe right down the middle. This is interesting. Put that aside. So I picked this up. You're not really going to be able to tell. Because um, you really need light. Um, but anyway, it is the negative for well, a slide for... A picture with Hank Greenberg and Al Rosen on it because Rosen was on the Indians and Hank Greenberg was the GM of the Indians um, at the time. So two PC players, vintage PC players on one card. I figured that was a pretty good pickup uh, and something a little unique to add to the PC. And then there's this bad boy. So managed to find a Joe DiMaggio cut auto and it was a lot less than I thought it would be including tax and shipping that's why I picked it up so now I'll move over here so kind of one of the interesting things with the 90s was you know, you had all kinds of companies doing signed baseball cards, including whiskey. So this is a six card set. There's only four shown here, but six card set. Picked it up for dirt cheap, basically cheaper than what they were originally sold for. Uh, they, they originally, you, had, you could order them for five bucks a piece. Hand signed cards, on card. There's Raleigh Fingers, Billy Williams. Brooks Robinson, Willie Stargell, Ernie Banks, and Frank Robinson. Yeah, it's always funny to me looking back at the late 80s, 90s, early 2000s to a lesser extent um, kind of promotions and who was able to get these people to sign and send out freebies or cheap stuff. Another couple, another few freebies that were sent with some cards. There's a Dane Winfield 85, a little pop-up. A Kofax Superstar card, 82. And then a Joe Tinker reprint card, obviously. So then I managed to pick up a few of these. This is from Historic Argress Friends and Foes um, set. They came in books like this. And dual auto, both PSA DNA certified. 
This particular one is Wade Boggs and Marty Barrett. They were on the 86 socks together. And then you have Hoot Evers and George Kelly. Or, sorry, George Kell. Um, and they were on the Tigers together. And then you have Ron Say and Davey Lopes on the Dodgers together. And then you have Eddie Lake and George Kell also on the Tigers together. And the final card I will show you. So this is another Historic Autographs product I've never purchased boxes of, or a box of. Uh, this is their original strip series. So inside there's a cut auto of a player and a, an original strip card. And this one is Joe Sewell. So a strip card over here, usually 1920s, teens, 20s, is when they were prevalent and really into the 30s and then there's the cut auto over there it's a nice clear cut auto nice card floating in there so again it's one of those things where they're not pc items but if i give them at the right price i'm going to pick them up and especially hall of fame autos and see if we can move them at a later date and sometimes i'll hold on to them because it's the history of the game. So that's what I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the nice little variety. Some of the autos. Some of the big hits and little hits. Um, and some of the just more interesting things that we managed to find when scouring eBay. So, again, just wanted to remind you to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun with this great hobby in this great community. There's a tremendous amount of good people, interesting people, both in personalities and in the collections that they have and just good-hearted people there's a number of different ways you can get involved whether it's simply watching videos such as this and commenting making videos going into live streams going to facebook groups go to your lcs card shows even just talking with friends and family about the hobby there are tremendous people out there just open yourselves up to it and you will have a heck of a lot of fun and get a heck of a lot out of this hobby. So I hope you have a good one. I hope to see you again. And bye for now. <laughs>